Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here. WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been talking about how you can um, have a sidebar that ends up missing. And one of the causes for that could be having your images too large, having them posted larger than what fits. Like my pictures, they can fit from here over to here. And if I make them bigger, it's going to mess things up. And that's what happened right here in this case. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you sometimes the previous video just before this will show you um, how that works and what the problem is. Uh, and so it's best to actually load your pictures smaller, the size you want them to your site to begin with. I use, uh, sometimes I use like this because it fits and I can put some more text on the side. Or if I want a bigger one, I'll put a bigger one, but I don't usually have it bigger than 500 or 550 pixels across. And that works. And like I said, this 300 is a good size. Now, Ray told me and reminded me that sometimes it's really cool to have a picture that when someone clicks on it, the bigger picture pops up, and that way they can see the image better. And that's cool, too. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. And if you notice, I'm going to show you how to do that in here. And right here, I temporarily took off my spam filter just to do a short test today, and it's amazing how quickly the spam comments add up. And I will delete them soon. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and upload the picture. Now we want to upload a full size picture, one that looks cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this picture here, full size. And it takes a little longer for the full size pictures to upload. And here we'll wait for it to upload. Okay, as it finishes uploading, then. Um, and the larger pictures take longer for WordPress to process and for your um, internet service to upload it upline. I'm going to go ahead and pause it till it has it ready. Okay, it did crunching and now it's up. As you can see, the dimensions, these are pixels 3,648 by 2736. That is quite big if I put it straight on my page because. Uh, I'm only going to be able to see about, you know, 600, maybe the biggest it can go on there. I usually use like 550 or something. And so that is bigger than what I need, and it would take more time for people to upload on their page. But at the same time, what we want to do is have it so people can actually link, click on the picture to get the full size picture. Went ahead and filled in and changed the title instead of having the number and just called it Butterfly on Thistle, which is a thistle plant, and it was a nice sunny day. And the butterflies and the bees love the thistle plant. And I was out with the camera, took pictures. And this is the link URL that someone was to click on the image. This is where they're going to go. And this is a full size picture. But right here, you see medium picture. And that's the one that's actually going to show up in the post. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that at medium. And we're going to insert this into the post. And we're going to see how it works out. Okay, here's the image right here. And um, let me go back and edit it. It might be good to have a little caption there. Okay, let me go ahead and click on the image, on the edit image. And then uh, caption. Okay, and this might make it, we'll see how the caption works with this theme and how it's showing up. And we're going to go ahead and update it. Okay, and here we are. This is the preview. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the image. And voila, there's the full size image. And that way someone can come and see. And that's really cool. And actually, the picture's bigger than that. See the little plus mark? They can click on it and they can even go in further. Very cool. Works great. But like I said, it just depends on what you need, what you want to do with your posts. You can resize them or you can have the smaller image and click on the bigger one if you need it, if you want people to see it. If it doesn't really help for what you're doing, have the smaller images to start with. It makes it shorter time to upload. Anyway, have fun with this. Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers.